Hi guys, so welcome and welcome back to another video with your girl Linda. If you're new and you're coming here for the first time or you probably just stumbled on my video or Google just suggested my video to you and you're seeing my face for the first time, I'm your Kenyan girl Linda, okay, but Nigerian based mommy. Yeah, so welcome to my channel. Please feel free to subscribe and become a part of the family. I'm trying to do this video and I'm trying to fix this light on the moon side by the way the light is behaving. I'm not sure why the light is not lighting. But anyway, that's story for another day. So in today's video, I just quickly want to share with you. Uh, if you know, you know. Okay, if you know, you know. The things you should be ready to do if you're married to a Nigerian Igbo man. Yes, so... If you're dating a Nigerian Igbo man and you guys are planning to get married, I'm gonna put you down real quick on some things that you should be ready to do. Yes! <laughs> Mostly, I'm talking to people who are not actually Nigeria born but are planning to marry or are married to Nigerian Igbo men. The reason why I'm putting this disclaimer is because most women that are Nigerian born, they can actually put up with it. Most of them, even though not, not all yeah. of them. But most of them, <clears throat> Mama, go and give promise this thing. Go and give it to promise, then you come back, okay? Mm. Go give to promise, then you come back. Most of them can put up with it, though not all of them. Yeah, so first of all, if you're planning to marry a Nigeria Igbo man, you should be ready to go to the village every Christmas. Yes, Nigerian Igbo man, they have something. They have something about village i don't know but they just have a thing for the village like the village is they say it all they do it all if a nigerian Igbo man things are not going well for him this man has to travel to the village if things are going well to him all with him all for him and the lines are falling into pleasant places he has to go to the village i don't know what he's going to do to the village whether he's going to buy wine for the elders or he's going to see the igwe or he's going to Holy Bashaw, or is going to thank the gods, I don't know. But they have a thing for the village. So if you know you're dating a Nigerian Igbo man and you're planning to marry them, and you're that kind of person that doesn't like village, <laughs> then you're in for something big, okay? You must learn to like and love a village. I can't even emphasize that one enough. Number two, if you're dating or you're getting married to a Nigerian Igbo man, other countries, if you're not Nigerian born, we know our rights. Do you get? We know our rights. So if you know you are marrying a Nigerian Igbo man, you better put your rights in your pocket first because they don't believe in a woman's voice being heard. They are so traditional, that traditional actually. 98% of Igbo men, even the ones that have traveled the world, they travel, they see things, but they still come back to do their own things, like their culture says. Their, 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 their forefathers. Their forefathers did not allow women to speak in front of men. Their forefathers did not allow women to give opinion where men are speaking. Their forefathers did not allow their wives to advise them. So, <laughs> no. If you know you're planning to get married to a Nigerian Igbo man, you better forget about your rights because this dude ain't giving a hurt about you and your rights, okay? You must be able to be that kind of person that... Let me just use the word pushover. On a lighter note, pushover because if my opinion can't be heard and I'm not supposed to talk when you're talking and I'm not supposed to say something when men are saying something, then to me, I'm a pushover. I should be saying yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. If you say jump, I jump. If you say squat, I squat. If you say sneeze, I sneeze. <laughs> that thing that if you have a foreign woman planning to get married to a Nigerian Igbo man, you must get used to their mother. You must get attached to their mother. If their mother is still alive, hey, if their mother is still alive, there's no two ways about it. You are going to love this mama, eh? Even if you don't love the mama, you better start pretending that you like her. Because Nigerian Igbo men, they have a thing with their mothers. If mommy says you're good, you're good. If mommy says you're terrible, you're terrible. 
no matter how good you are to them if mommy says you are terrible you're actually terrible if mommy says she likes you they are going to like you more but if mommy says she doesn't like you they are most likely to leave you and marry another woman that mommy likes so if you know you don't like your Nigerian fiancé mother, boyfriend mother, or husband mother, you better pretend to like them. Start pretending now. If you're not married to them yet, start doing press-ups and, <laughs> and preparations on how to be liking this Nigerian um, Igbo man mother. Because if mommy says, I don't like this gay, <laughs> madam, you are going no matter how pretty you think you are no matter how beautiful of a shape you think you carry no matter how beautiful of a smile you think you have if mommy says she doesn't like you you are going chances are very high that you are actually going okay yeah so another point is if you're planning to get married to a Nigeria Igbo man you must know how to cook because Nigeria men Igbo men precisely have something with food they believe that an angry man is an angry man and that food is the way to a man's stomach. So if you know you're planning to marry a Nigeria Igbo man, you must know how to cook. My sister, know how to cook. You cannot tell us that you'll be ordering Glovo up and down, ordering KFC up and down. It won't work. I've seen Nigeria Igbo men that even just, they'll just eat. They, they, they will so eat that even you will be asking yourself uh, um, why are they eating like this is it not embarrassing but i think it's something in them i don't know nigerian Igbo men have something for food something very very tight last but not least if you're planning to get married to a nigerian Igbo man just make sure that respect doesn't depart from you like by respect I mean they like to be they like to be hailed they like to be praised they like to be made feel big they might they like to be made feel you understand you might marry a Nigerian Igbo man that is not actually a big man he's not Dangote he's not all that he's not a Deleke he's not that but that your Nigerian Igbo palm wine tapa guy also expects you to be hailing them if you know you know so if you know it's something you cannot do, just stay away from Nigeria Igbo man. You can consider marrying a Nigerian, any other tribe. Maybe try Yoruba or Hausa or any other tribe, but Igbo. <laughs> the last point I'll say is if you know that you are actually planning to marry or settle with a Nigerian Igbo man, you might as well try to start learning their language yes because they have a thing for their language even if they speak in english they must drop some Igbo inside some Igbo lines some Igbo phrases must pass inside some Igbo you know they, they they have a thing for their language if they talk and they did not add their language inside they did not used to feel like that talk the gist is complete they used to feel like the gist is not complete yet so if you know you're planning to, to, to marry a Nigerian Igbo man, you can as well consider starting to learn their language. Yes, guys. So that is all I wanted to tell you today. And I don't want this video to be longer than this. So if you had fun watching it as much as I had fun shooting this video, please comment down below. Let me know. If you're dating a Nigerian Igbo man, comment down below. Also, let me know what you think. Your thoughts about what I said. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Just make sure you keep your comments very very respectful okay yes so that you don't go against or violate any of youtube's guidelines yeah so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't like and share this video and let's meet in our next video it remains your girl your baby girl for life <laughs> in the aisle <laughs> oh god bye guys